Yo, what's up guys, Nemesis here, and in this video, I'm going to be playing this P.E.K.K.A. Ram Rider deck. I've gotten a few requests to play P.E.K.K.A. Ram Rider, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Um, Just typically, you know, P.E.K.K.A. Ram Rider decks are a bit more defensive than, you know, regular P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam decks. Oh gosh, okay, I was not even looking at the screen when I was saying that. <laughs> um... Okay, so I'm just going to go for Golden Knight in the middle. I wish I had my P.E.K.K.A. in hand, but unfortunately I do not, so... Um, I'm going to go for a Poison on top of this thing. I'm also going to go for a Mother Witch, I believe. Yo, that actually might even... Yeah, that was a bad Mother Witch too, bro. God, I might be a little rusty, but don't worry, man. Don't worry. This gameplay will still be fine, I promise you. Um... Yeah, typically with this kind of variation, you want... Oh my gosh, bro. Hold on. Yeah, with this variation, you typically just want to be uh, really patient and kind of want to wait for double elixir to make really, really big pushes. Go for Golden Knight here. Hopefully he doesn't have that much elixir so I can... Um, all right, he does. Okay. I'm going to save up so I can get my uh, P.E.K.K.A. Let's see what he does here. I'm going to P.E.K.K.A. the bridge here. Okay, he's going to go for a Furnace, which is totally fine. So yeah, like I was saying, you don't really make pushes in single. You can. You can make pushes in single Elixir, but it's going to be pretty difficult because this deck is kind of heavier. You know, you don't have Battle Ram and stuff like that and minions to make easy single lane pushes or not single lane pushes just easy pushes because they just cost more elixir and stuff like that oh my gosh this guy is crazy man popped ability right here yeah i caught him slipping right there man i caught him slipping with low elixir it's gonna force out that as well um <clears throat> Typically, also with this variation, you will definitely see people playing um, triple spell. You know, they'll also have snowball involved because Ram Rider synergizes with snowball super well. But uh, a lot of decks also carry just double spell. And I prefer the double spell because you can outplay a little bit more. I'd rather have a Royal Ghost in my deck than having, you know, a... Uh, a snowball because you could just like I said you can outplay a little bit more by having different and more troops to punish them <clears throat> so yeah that's my thought process on that essentially so um yeah that's going to go ahead and be game number one let's go ahead and jump to the next game okay so I got the next game here and I got Electro Wizard, Poison, Royal Ghost, and Goldenite uh, so I'm just gonna go for Royal Ghost right here Let's see. Um, it's got goblins as well. I'm just going to chill a little bit. So Ice Spirit Goblins. Don't really know what this is. Um, honestly, if he's going to wait, I'll wait too. But for the sake of the video, I'll just play Golden Knight in the back. Otherwise, um, if I wasn't recording, I'd probably just wait till Double Elixir. Because obviously this Heavy P.E.K.K.A. deck can get a good advantage. Uh, I'm gonna go for Electro Wizard right here. I'm not even gonna like bother to pop the ability. It doesn't really matter for me at least. Um, and let me see here. I, I'm just gonna bar barrel that. Uh, I definitely want to try to get uh really good Mother Witches in, in this uh matchup. Let's see, just like that, I already got a couple piglets spawning right there, which is super nice for me. Mother Witch is still doing a pretty decent job at chipping down that thing. Okay, I'm going to go for Golden Arrow here. Okay, that was kind of sketch. I think I'm going to pop the ability here too. Okay, he's going to play Inferno Tower. I kind of wish I just peck it. Oh, actually, I'm going to do that right now. Let me see, so he's three cards away from his Inferno Tower. Maybe I could try to punish this now before he gets back to his next Inferno Tower. Um, and I have a pretty decent Elixir advantage, so maybe I can do so. 
Let me see here. Wow. I'll just do this, I guess. Okay, so he's gonna play goblins. He's two cards away now. Okay, was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, I needed that P.E.K.K.A. to get that hit right there. So this matchup is honestly kind of unfortunate because of uh, me not having a, like, a reliable answer to uh, uh, taking down his Inferno Tower. I'm going to pop the ability here. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Alright, I'm gonna poison. I'm actually gonna start poisoning these things. Um, if I can't break through otherwise, I might as well just start trying to chip him out as quick as I can before he gets, uh, you know, um, uh... wait, hold on. Preemptive Barbaro? Okay, he played him to the side. Pretty smart play on his end. Well, I'm just gonna go right back in, I guess. Okay, he doesn't have that much elixir. Oh my gosh, this guy needs to give up, please. If he goes for a Dark Prince, I'm just going to poison it. Just chip him down at this point, man. There's nothing else to do, but just chip him down, man. Look at the little piglet, too, getting some good damage from me as well. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And, yeah, look at this, man. This is just perfection. Yeah, there's really nothing you can do anymore. I'm just going to do that. Do all this right here. Just kind of cycle back to my poison. And that should be game number two in the bag. Let's go ahead and jump to the next game. Okay, so here's the next game. I got P.E.K.K.A., Royal Ghost, Ram Rider, and Poison. Let's see what this guy wants to do. Uh, let's see. He's going to go for Skeletons. Let's go for a ghost, I guess. Typically, like I said, I don't know if I actually said this, but um, when you're playing, you know, this variation, when you make pushes, you kind of want a single lane push with this deck. You don't really want a dual lane push, um, especially if you're rocking uh, Ram Rider. Oh, gosh. Wait, I'm going to wait till those Spear Goblins pop up. Oh, look at that. Wait, I would Mother Witch that, but the baby dragon's kind of in the way. So I don't really want to risk anything. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. That graveyard really caught me off guard, as you can tell by my voice right there. Um, but we chilling, guys. We chilling. Yeah, I think if he goes for... Because I haven't revealed my mother, my mother Witch yet, so I'm going to do this. Watch. That's big brain plays right there. So, uh, yeah. Goodbye to the, the Goblin Hut. <laughs> Maybe force something else out as well. Alright, looks like he's not playing anything for that. So that is a ton of damage for me. I'll definitely take that. But yeah, back to kind of what I was saying. Um, you want to singly push a lot with this specific variation. Especially, like, playing P.E.K.K.A.s and Ram Rider behind the P.E.K.K.A. That's, like, your main source to break through a lot of uh, decks. Because Ram Rider on the opposite lane without any tank supporting it doesn't really do much. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, you know what I'm going to do here? Wait. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, check this out, check this out. I'm going to let that connect for now. And look at that. Now, he can't really break through anymore because I just got the King Activation for his Graveyard. So I could kind of just use poisons on uh, offense now, which is super nice for me. Okay, that didn't really matter, but uh, yeah, man, this guy is kind of a... Uh, he's not in the best position right now, I'll tell you that much. I'm just going to go for a ram right here. Probably doesn't have anything that good. Yeah, nothing that good. <clears throat> go for a golden knight right here. I have a really solid matchup here, though, by the way. Like, I have a really, really solid matchup. Oh, let's see. Just go for a Lecture Wizard right here. Just kind of play some defense, and uh, I should be good to go right here for my third match. Let's go ahead and jump to the final one. Okay, so here's the final game against Mr. Legend. 
I got Royal Ghost, Electro Wizard, Pekka, and Poison. Uh, I'll just go for Electro Wizard here. I could have gone for a Royal Ghost, but um, my reaction time wasn't the greatest right there. Let's go for Pekka right here. So he's Wall Breakers. Um, Mega Knight, so maybe he has Queen or Musketeer as his air card, like his air removal card, I should say. He's probably got the Prince as well, so I know what deck this is. Yep, there's the Queen. Um, hopefully he pops the ability so we can't really... Okay, yeah, perfect. Um, okay, I'm going to go for a Ghost. Then I'm going to go for Mother Witch immediately. Go for this Golden Knight. Okay, this is really solid for me. Hopefully he doesn't have another ability in time. I'll pop the ability over here as well, just kind of... Maybe scare him a little bit. That's a ton of damage. Look at the damage on both lanes. Um, Royal Ghost is doing so much work right now. I think he actually might have just given up. Look for Barbarian Barrel right here. Yeah, he gave up, guys. He gave up. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this deck. You know, it's really good, you know. Uh, you just gotta find the right time. Just kind of with P.E.K.K.A., but this deck is more of a beatdown deck as opposed to P.E.K.K.A. You could beat down with P.E.K.K.A. as well, but this variation just kind of does it more better, I would say. So, uh, yeah, not much else to say about that. Uh, let me know if you guys use this variation as well, so, um... Uh, yeah, solid four games right there. It's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more in the future.